Stripe and plaid matching seems tricky, but with these simple tips, you'll be able to skillfully plaid match your next sewing project. Almost all matching happens in the cutting phase, so get ready to play with your pattern pieces. Tip one, purchase a little extra fabric. Have you ever noticed in a pattern's instructions that it says to purchase additional yardage if using napped or printed fabric? Well, when matching plaids and stripes, this is definitely one of those cases. Generally, for small scale patterns, you'll want to purchase an extra half yard. And for large scale patterns, a full yard should cover you. Plus, if you buy a little extra, you can make little experiments to see how certain areas like a shirt placket will come together. Tip number two, prioritize which seams you want to match. It's often impossible to match every single seam, but you can rank which seams are most important to you. I like to order them by how visible they are. This will of course depend on the pattern, but I like to start with matching center front and back since those seams sit front and center on your body. Then I'll aim to match the sleeves since they're also highly visible. If it has sleeves, I won't prioritize matching the side seams, but if it's sleeveless, I'll try to cut out pieces so that the stripes or plaids go around my body in a continuous line. Lastly, and only if possible, I'll try to match the shoulders for a nice little detail. Tip number three, cut some pieces on the bias. If your pattern has a lot of pieces, cutting some of them on the bias instead of straight will look awesome and save you some time. You'll notice this on lots of ready to wear shirts. Often the back yokes, pockets, and plackets are cut on the bias. It's a really classic look and draws attention to the lines of the garment instead of obscuring them. Sleeve cuffs and plackets and collars and collar stands are fiddly areas that can stretch out and become hard to sew if cut on the bias. Just match these areas as best as you can and move on. Tip number four, use tracing paper. To really help visualize how the plaids or stripes are going to look on your pieces before cutting them out, use tracing paper. Tip number five, draw seam allowances on your pattern pieces. You'll want to draw in the seam allowances on all of the pattern pieces you want to match. The reason for this is that you want your stripes to match at the seam where they're sewn, not at the raw edge. Tip number six, draw match lines on your pattern pieces. For example, since patterns are drafted for the underarm points to meet, drawing a straight line connecting these points across the front, back, and sleeves is a quick way to make sure your plaids meet on these pieces. You can also use the notches on the side seams. Tip number seven, draw the fabric's pattern on the pattern pieces. Use a soft lead pencil to trace the images that are on the fabric onto the paper pattern. This is especially helpful for the next tip. Tip number eight, cut pieces flat. Although it can be done, cutting pieces on the fold is challenging when trying to match plaids and stripes. Instead, cut out your pieces flat to make sure every line is where you want it. This can also save you from needing to buy a lot of extra fabric. Tip number nine, take some extra steps when sewing. Use more pins than usual and pin more carefully. It is a good idea to baste and make corrections before sewing those highly visible seams, especially when working with knits or slippery fabrics. Hand base those tricky seams that want to slip out of alignment. Sometimes you might have to move a piece up or down by an eighth of an inch or so to keep the pattern matched. Don't worry as this will often fall in the seam allowance and won't affect the construction of the garment. You can also move patch pockets a little if you didn't cut them out perfectly. No one will ever know. A walking foot can help feed your fabric evenly and ensure that your stripes and plaids stay lined up. Tip number 10, practice. Matching plaids, stripes, and large scale prints is not as hard as it sounds, but it can feel daunting and time consuming. Many sewists figure out how to match through trial and error. So remember, take your time, have fun, and know it's okay if things are a little off. What are your plaid and stripe matching tips? Comment down below. Happy sewing.